This is Mikhail Sekras, the editor of Ash Clinical News. I have stolen the microphone from Ash News TV. I'm going to take it to the streets to find out what people really think of Ash Clinical News. I'm here with none other than Chaz Abrams, president of Ash. Dr. Abrams, I have a question for you. In your pulling back the curtain, you mentioned that at one point there was a there was a toggle between you're becoming a hematologist and you're becoming a professional hockey player. What made the decision for you? I think my teammates made the decision for me. <laughs> <laughs> was it the appearance of so much blood on the ice that drove you into hematology? <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> I'm here with Aaron Gerds, the editor-in-chief of Ash News Daily today. Dr. Gerds, I have a question for you. Yes. You may know that in every issue of Ash Clinical News, we have a section called Passions, where we profile the activities of hematologists outside of the workplace. We've been debating modifying this section to talk about the style of hematologists and to call it Fashions. Do you have any fashion advice for hematologists? The devil wears Prada. Thank you, Dr. Gerds. We were debating coming up with a section that we would call Fashions about style tips for hematologists. Do you have any style tips for hematologists? Well, um, if there's one thing that I learned in my fellowship, it's that all hematologists have to wear sweater vests. We're debating starting another section called Fashions, where we talk about hematology style. Do you have any style tips for hematologists? Comfortable shoes for the rounds. You never know how late you're going to be in the hospital when an acute leukemic comes in. We're thinking about starting another section called Fashions, where we give style advice to hematologists. Do you have any style advice for hematologists? Yes. Um, don't worry about style. When you are at the ash, you will be walking 30 miles each day. So. <laughs> Do you think this jacket makes me look like a used car salesman? I'm here with Joe McHale, who's the chair of the Committee on Communications for ASH. Dr. McHale, I have a question for you. Great to see you, McHale. Happy to answer your question. Great to see you also. Joe, I had heard a rumor that ASH was going to request that after the end of every oral presentation, every speaker do a dap like this. What do you think about that? Well, actually, that came upon a recommendation of my nine-year-old daughter who uh, is uh, really the DAP princess. And uh, I think it's a great idea. I, I think more hematologists should DAP. I'm actually in training, I'm not quite there yet, but I hope someday to be able to DAP as well as you do. I have one follow-up question for you. Please. Dr. McHale, is there any significance to the number of ribbons that you have on your badge? Uh, the significance is that they are more than your badge. That's the only significance to that. <laughs> My good friend, and non-competitive colleague, Joe McHale. Thank you very much. My pleasure.